Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2018 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. In this review, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs, take it on a thorough drive, and show you many of the unique aspects throughout the interior as well as exterior. Before we begin, a special thanks to AutoNation for providing this opportunity. For more information regarding dealerships in your area, current inventory, and more, feel free to check out AutoNation.com or click the link in the description box below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. The 4Runner can be best described as a multi-purpose vehicle. It's also one of the last body-on-frame SUVs that you can buy today. Whether it be towing, traveling, or off-roading, the 4Runner can do it all, especially the TRD variants. The 5th generation 4Runner has been on sale now since 2010. It received a cosmetic refresh back in 2014, inside and out, but since then it's remained relatively unchanged. Same goes for this year, the only notable changes are a few new color options such as Calvary Blue like the example shown here and a couple of new equipment packages. While the 4Runner is certainly a bit long in the tooth compared to some of its more recently redesigned competitors like the Wrangler JL, it still offers a great value and a lot of versatility for this segment. There's a tremendous amount of passenger space, cargo space, it offers comfortable road manners, and especially with TRD variants, you get a lot of off-road goodies packed in for those who like to take the road less traveled. Every 4Runner is rated to tow up to 5,000 pounds thanks to a standard integrated tow hitch receiver and wire harness on all grades. If memory serves me correct, the only SUV within this segment that eclipses this is the Dodge Durango, which is a little bit bigger, but it doesn't carry the same level of off-road ability. Pricing for the 2018 4Runner before options, destination, and any applicable discounts ranges between $34,810 and $43,125. There's six trim levels to choose between. The TRD Off-Road Premium shown here slots kind of in the middle at $39,895. Major options you can go for include a moonroof, a sliding rear cargo deck with underfloor storage, and Toyota's kinetic dynamic suspension system. Total as tested MSRP is $40,890. From the outside, the TRD off-road models certainly look the part. They're distinguished by their color-keyed bumpers and over-fenders, hood scoop, and silver-painted front and rear bumper accents. The wheels are different, the ride height is a little bit taller, and there's unique emblems on the C-pillars. Both the TRD Off-Road and Off-Road Premium feature unique 17 by 75 inch alloys. They feature a seven-spoke design with polished faces and black painted pockets. They're wrapped in 265 Bridgestone tires. You'll find a full-size spare tire underneath the rear of the vehicle. As far as brakes, the 4Runner packs four-wheel internally ventilated discs that span 13.3 inches in front and 12.3 inches in the rear. They're clamped down by four-piston and single-piston calipers respectively. The mechanical parking brake is foot-operated. The 4Runner actually stops pretty strong, it only takes about 125 feet to stop fully from 60 miles an hour. One thing that you might have to get used to is a longer zone of free pedal travel. Brake pedal response isn't as immediate as I've experienced in other vehicles, so as long as you take that into consideration, you'll be fine because the brakes do provide a ton of stopping power. The steering is a power assisted and variable gear rack and pinion design. It's on the firm side, offering surprisingly good feedback and maneuverability even at lower speeds. The overall ratio is 18.4 to 1, it takes about 2.7 turns to lock, and the turning circle measures 37.4 feet. Underpinning the 4Runner is a coil sprung independent double wishbone suspension in front, and a coil sprung 4 link rigid type suspension in the rear, with front and rear stabilizer bars. 
TRD off-road models have the option of Toyota's Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System. It allows for greater wheel travel at lower speeds for greater off-road capability and control. On pavement, the system actually provides a more nimble feel by reducing body lean in corners. It also includes larger front and rear stabilizer bars. In general, the 4Runner offers a soft and compliant ride, but it's good to remember that this is a traditional body-on-frame SUV. It's gonna lack some of the precision that you'll find in some of the more quote-unquote modern competitors, but for what this thing is designed to do both on and off the road, it is very well-mannered. All 4Runners are powered by a big 4-liter naturally aspirated V6. It produces 270 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 278 pound-feet of torque at 4,400 RPM. While that doesn't sound like a lot in today's market, it can do 0 to 60 in about 7.5 seconds, which places it right in line with the competition. The engine uses aluminum for the block and heads and features dual overhead cams, 4 valves per cylinder, dual variable valve timing with intelligence, and multi-port fuel injection with a 10.4 to 1 compression ratio. As far as fuel economy with 4-wheel drive, the EPA rates this as 17 miles per gallon in the city and 21 miles per gallon on the highway. You can expect an average of around 18 miles per gallon. Total tank capacity is 23 gallons and the engine runs on 87 octane. In a world where we have 7, 8, 9, and even 10-speed automatic transmissions, the 4Runner's 5-speed automatic seems quite antiquated, but it is a smooth gearbox and it does its job well. My only complaint is that throttle response is a little on the low side, you have to really bury that pedal to extract the performance from the engine, but again, it does have good performance. Toyota offers the 4Runner with a choice between two-wheel drive, part-time four-wheel drive with a two-speed transfer case, or if you go for the limited, full-time four-wheel drive with a two-speed transfer case and a locking center differential. The part-time four-wheel drive system includes A-Track, which is a brake-based system for distributing torque between different wheels. The TRD models get an electronic locking rear differential and Toyota's crawl control feature. The latter actually regulates engine speed and braking force to propel the vehicle forward or reverse at any one of the five low-speed driver selectable settings. The driver only has to focus on steering, which is pretty cool. The TRD models also get a multi-terrain select system to control wheel slip relative to terrain and conditions. The overhead console groups all of these controls. Instead of crawl control, the limited and four-wheel drive SR5 models come with downhill assist control. Hill start assist is standard across the board. As you would expect from a vehicle that's been on the market this long, the interior of the 4Runner is definitely starting to show its age, but it's still a really cool design. I love the rugged, no-nonsense layout of the dashboard and center console, and how everything is placed within easy reach, such as the power windows and power locks that are all located on the upper portions of the door panels. Overall build quality feels very solid, it's quiet out on the road, some of the materials are a little plasticky, but there's plenty of soft touch materials where it matters the most. It's also really comfortable. The front seats come standard with power adjustments for the driver and passenger. The driver also gets two-way adjustable lumbar. The steering wheel is manually adjustable for both tilt and reach. A couple of differences between the standard TRD off-road and the off-road premium is the addition of Softex leatherette upholstery and heated front seats. The Limited adds a lot more creature comfort such as push button ignition and smart key entry, but this trim level seems just about perfect with the amount of features and value. As far as safety, the 4Runner's interior is packed with 8 airbags, including knee airbags for the driver and passenger. One downside compared to some of Toyota's newest offerings is that it doesn't offer any driver assistance technology. Along with ample passenger space, the 4Runner's interior packs a lot of ways for you to store your stuff. There's door pockets, a big storage bin in the middle, cubbies all across the center console, two cup holders, and a locking glove box. There's a few different audio systems available across the lineup, including a premium 15-speaker JBL system in the Limited. With the TRD Off-Road Premium, you get an 8-speaker system, paired to a 6.1-inch touchscreen infotainment system with built-in navigation and a CD player. There's a bunch of different media options available, including HD and satellite radio, iPod connectivity, and more. 
a single zone climate control system is standard on all grades except for the Limited. Moving on to the back seat, the Forerunner offers ample space for up to three people, even people over six feet. Build quality and the environment in general is very similar to the front, there's soft padding in the essential touch points and the seats are very comfortable. The headrests are all adjustable, the outer portions can actually be folded down for better visibility. There's also a fold down armrest that's padded and includes two cup holders. Like a lot of vehicles in this segment, the rear seat can also be reclined so you can kick back and relax on a long trip. Amenities include plenty of storage, two power outlets, adjustable air vents, grip handles up top, and coat hooks. Depending on the trim level, you can also opt for a third row seat if you needed to carry two extra people. Along with a bunch of passenger space, the Forerunner offers up a lot of cargo space as well. In its standard configuration like you see here, you have 47.2 cubic feet worth of space behind the rear seat. Fold them down and it nearly doubles to 89.7 cubic feet. The rear seat is split 40-20-40, so if you had some long items, you can just fold down the middle portion and still be able to maintain good rear seat space for two people. Trunk amenities include cargo tie-downs, extra storage pockets, and even two power outlets. Now let's go ahead and see how she sounds. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2018 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. Be sure to stay tuned next time, leave a like and subscribe today if you haven't already, there's always a lot more where that came from. Take care everyone.